video, we'll first be walking through a digital model of the production ventilator assembly, which is the complete package that we'd expect to put in a hospital environment. In this part, Tajani will explain some of the assembly and packaging considerations. Then, we'll walk through the assembly of a development prototype, which contains all of the functional components in a layout that's easy to work with, which we use to allow our distributed development team to work on building controls for the device. Our design philosophy was centered on ease of assembly, installation, and maintenance. We wanted the ventilator to be as modular as possible. All of the ventilator's internals are mounted to a frame that can be removed as one piece. In fact, the entire functional unit can be assembled outside of the enclosure. The enclosure design was also designed around maintenance, with removable panels allowing access from all sides. The internal assembly can be seen here. The internal assembly was designed to be as simple and tidy as possible. Tubing was eliminated wherever possible and replaced with fittings. Clear acrylic supports components mounted to a sheet metal frame. This allows for higher visibility during assembly as well as easy troubleshooting of moving components while enclosed. In this model, wiring and pressure measurement tubing are not shown for visibility. The display screen and oxygen connections are located on the upper panel. The brains of the unit and motor stepper drivers mount to the back. The lower faceplate supports the filter and patient tubing connections. These are actually the same part, the only difference being the removal or addition of the patient adapter. Starting at the intake filter, flexible tubing rounds air to the blower. The discharge air then travels through a check valve to prevent high pressure O2 traveling back to the blower. Stepper driven pinch valves control flow, which is then mixed with O2 in the mixing tea. The supplied O2 can be regulated through our regulator if necessary and is controlled by a proportional solenoid before mixing. An oxygen sensor feeds the control board information, and a pressure relief valve is here for safety. The air O2 mix then passes through a Venturi flow meter before exiting the ventilator through the inhalation connection. Exhaled air from the patient returns through the exhalation connection, comes up to the top of the board, and through another Venturi flow meter for measurement. The pressure tubing for the Venturi flow meters is uh, mounts to these barbs here and connects to the circuit barb up here. After the Venturi, the air passes through another control valve before exiting through the exhalation filter here. The design philosophy behind separating the upper and lower decks of the mounting plate is centered around the idea that we wanted all of our components up above with as many fittings as possible to kind of reduce the amount of tube spaghetti and also for visibility reasons in case there's any issue uh, the operator can look through the faceplate to see if something has become disconnected or if a mechanical device is not operating properly. The lower deck was reserved simply for tubing to not violate minimum bender ADI and also allow for a somewhat neater interface. This completes the demo of our production ventilator design. Next, Martin will walk us through the assembly of a development prototype ventilator. Documentation of this process is publicly available as part of our open source philosophy. We'll start with the assembly of the pinch valves from 3D printed components and off-the-shelf hardware. With this subassembly complete, we'll move on to the main ventilator pneumatic circuit. Have a little feet. 
corners. So, the parts, here's the parts, the tools, here's the tools, okay. The mounted pinch valves form the start of the pneumatic circuit. Next, we'll build the blower subassembly, which is the inlet to the pneumatic circuit. We have drilled these 332 holes here. For attaching the blower. We have this thing. Next, we add the T for an overpressure relief valve. In this demo, a plug fitting is standing in for the actual valve. The Venturi flow sensors are custom parts, which are 3D printed for these prototypes. They allow us to measure pressure drop and derive the flow rate through the orifice. Go. That's where the tubes are going to connect. Everything is tubes. The internet is tubes. It's just a series of tubes, man. We'll do the subassembly first. So Venturi comes in. Arrow is pointing that way. And that's the tubing for the second pinch valve. Okay. It's back on the board. Open this dude up. Feed it through. Okay. Here's all the electronics, but we sort of need to prepare them. So we're going to do that with this thing in a moment. RespiraWorks has created a custom PCB to minimize production errors for the control system. Here, Martin is modifying its mounting for the development prototype. The board links the Nucleo controller, pinch valve stepper motor drivers, blower driver, 
sensor inputs, and touchscreen controller. Here comes the Nucleo. On this board, we've resoldered this resistor to this position. This means this is the bottom board of the two. Now before we put the second board on, we'll want to run one of these out to the back so you can connect to the steppers. So that's what that big hole was for. Just gonna run this. On this connector through. So, but actually, before I do that, I'm going to label this. Uh, making sure the pins are straight. To complete the electrical connections, Martin connects the stepper motors with their drivers on the back of the board. Now we can tidy this up. The final pneumatic connection is to run small diameter tubing from the Venturi flow sensors to the pressure sensors built into the custom board. And we'll cut it like so. This will connect to the inhale.
is the power connector. And the last thing that we have to do is to connect up test lung or whatever. Probably not a patient at this point. Maybe let's not do that. So I had a Raspberry Pi. It's got an SD card. In this last step for the development prototype, we add a display controller and touchscreen to complete the user interface connection to the ventilator. Now we have the touchscreen. This completes the assembly demonstration for the RespiraWorks development prototype. Stay tuned for updates as we make progress towards the build of a fully packaged ventilator.